I will show you how to set up Transposh translation filter WordPress plugin. I have already installed it. As you see right here in the in plugins installed screen. And we'll go straight to settings dashboard. And here I'll just skip over for this for now because I will install a cache plugin later on. We'll go to languages. Here we have English as the default language. I will find Norwegian. I will actually search for that. So I'm pressing Command F here in Chrome. And I will have Norwegian. So we see it right here. So that is then the two languages I will have here on the site. And Norwegian will be the default language. And I'll just move this so we have both up here. I will click Save Changes and next to Settings. Here it says uh, Allow Upgrading to Full Version. I need to click this uh, for it to work properly. And what I do is who can translate, I will just set that as Administrator. Save Changes. Translation engines. I will just leave it as it is. Widget settings. I will click this and click save changes. Advanced. I don't think there's anything I need to do in here. Translation editor. This is where the translations will show up after we begin adding them in here. Utilities, I don't think there's anything I need to do here or about and support. So right now, as I added allow upgrading to full version, it will shoot, show up under updates. And here it shows up. So we'll just do upgrade uh, update pl uh, plugin. And it also then updates the translation for Norwegian WordPress. So I'll go to uh, widgets and we see it right down here on the bottom. So I can add this to any widget I want to add it into. So we'll add it into uh, widget area one. And here I will just remove the title and there's various defaults one can choose from. So I need to set up this widget in the heading for this theme. So I'll just pause it and I'll be right back. I have now set the widget area into the heading area for the theme that I'm using. So it looks like this on the front page. Here you can see it in the top. Uh, it's a little bit hidden here because the header is not uh, big enough. So what I will do, since I already set this up for a local version, I have some CSS I will add to modify the size of this box. So I'm going to go into uh, theme editing. Under appearance, as you see, this is Norwegian here. So we're in, in the style sheet. So I will then uh, start to uh, edit the edit translation text as we saw it on the front end here. It's very big and it's somewhat squished because of the size of the header and because of the size of this box. So I will then edit translation text. Paste it in there. Edit translation in the text. Here's the font size, height, update file, and go to front end. And to see the change, I will then inspect. So this is to, to add to do make a hard refresh. 
and it's not changing so I'll go back and for now add a font size and include important So actually I'm making the mistake right now that it is not transparent number three as it says here. I will need to right click this area and I see it says transport two. So I need to modify that. I don't need the important. We will find out in a moment. I need to change from three to two. Save and go back to front end and refresh. As you see, it, it now changed the size of this. And it says by, then, the, then there's the logo to uh, transports.org. I will remove the by this and remove the transports logo. I'm copying this. And so what I'll do, I'll just right click here, inspect. And here it says credit. So I know it has the div ID of TR underscore credit. And as you see, I had that right here. I will then copy and paste right below and remove the logo as well as the buy. Okay, so now we see it's gone. Sometimes it will take a few times before it kind of picks up. That's why I kind of right clicked it as well. Because sometimes I need to do an empty cache and hard reload. So, okay, so next thing I want to do is um, I will change the size of this select box. And I found out by right clicking the box and I see the select here on the side. So when I remove one of these check boxes, I see it changes here, the height changed. And I also added in code here and made it a little bit smaller. And I'll do another refresh. So you can see it, it's then smaller here. So I can change from Norwegian to English then. And I think that's what I need to do for the moment. So I can click then English for instance and click then the edit translation. And as you see there's various yellow boxes around here. I can click the yellow box and I can change this to something else. So if I just will have it as program, for instance, I will click here then check box, and now we change it to program. So I can go through and make the manual changes that I want, and just see where kind of uh, the English comes up a little bit weird compared to the Norwegian that I used. If I, for instance, wanted to change and add a flag instead, I can do that. I would then go to back to widgets area widget area 1 where you have it, transparsh and default because I added some also some code for the size of the flags. So if I do flags, save and go to front end here now and do a hard refresh. You see the flags and I will add some code for size of flags. To find the flags again here one just right clicks a flag, inspect and just kind of looks at the code right here. So I will add the code where I modify the size, I change the width to a size that I want it in 
update file. So now uh, they're, a, they're a little bit uh, bigger here. I can also change a hoover if I want to do that. So, so here, as you see, it says border color brown and important because sometimes it does not pick up if it's, there's no important here. Important just says that, that this code will take precedence, will come before other similar code. So this is then just going to go in between both of them. As you see, there's then this goes a little bit yeah, partly hidden as well. And that I can do take care of of making the widget larger if I want. But I'll just stop it here. It gives some ideas how to use the Transposh plugin.